Jerry versus Hermes. Um, the main event of the East versus West eight is going to be technique battle. It will be flop pressed inside press versus a beautiful quality top pro of Hermes Gasparini. For the super heavyweight championship of East versus West right on. Uh, I was looking forward for this match for quite some time. And I was going back and forth, who do I think is the favorite? And how I feel about this match and just looking, I, I like, it's hard to look at this match and not say that Hermes is the favorite, right? I think just from the opponents he's faced, the matches he has had, the versatility he has shown in the last two years and the absolute growth of himself, uh, you know, size-wise as well as power-wise, he just looks phenomenally good. Jerry Catteret came out of the gates facing Gennady Kukrini in a match that I didn't think he could win, and he took him to absolute limit and beat him in the match, becoming the champion of East versus West. Uh, then the next time he faced Georgi Tsaitko, where Georgi was huge underdog, in my opinion. Right, and it was such a close match. And I talked with Jerry afterwards, and Jerry said he was very, very disappointed in himself about this match, and uh, he felt like he wasn't the best, and he came off just from the injury, and you know, and um, it's not excuses. Like he was just disappointed in his performance. What I'm seeing from Jerry right now, and you can go and check it out on Paul Italia's on his channel as well as Jerry Carrey's channel. Post the links in the description. He's been looking big, massive. Right, uh, Ginger Dreadman, as uh, Neil Pickup says, and I think he's very, very focused. The thing with Jerry is, is not very versatile. Like everyone knows what you're gonna do. The thing is, the power is so awkward and so uncomfortable that it's very hard to prepare for that. Even Gennady, after the match, said like he has never experienced anything like this. Uh, the thing that you cannot do with Jerry when you don't have inside game in your arsenal you cannot be playing around you cannot be thinking like i'm gonna drain you and you know i'm gonna finish you from here and i don't think that's the strategy for Hermes. i think Hermes will go in and try to finish this as quick as possible yeah i wanted to know like who do you think is gonna win i kind of have a feeling what most people think but what would be the score remember this is best of five so uh in my opinion, if this would be like best of seven, which is six round super match, like usual, like King of Table or Armors, the longer it goes, more it favors Jerry because his press and the guys that have this pressing power, they get stronger by longer. You, you kind of oil up, get the tendons warm enough so you can go harder and harder while your opponent is slowly draining and draining. I have seen this so many times and it's an interesting phenomenon but it is true uh best of five so you just need three rounds to win i think it favors Hermes for sure uh jerry wants the strap will definitely get the strap will stay in the middle and just try to press him uh from seeing what Hermes has been lifting his back pressure is looking insane uh i think he definitely might be i think like even he said he's in a better shape than he faced uh Lebanon, right? Uh, in that match, it was different. He was in a position where I think Jerry will be losing his wrist and just trying to hold on and trying to press through. But he was kind of in defensive, you know, losing his wrist in a defensive position to his back pressure while Jerry is offensive with his shoulder in. Um, yeah, I hope for a definite war. I hope for a war and I hope we would get surprised and I hope we would learn. Uh, Jerry's been nothing but impressive. Like, he always delivers insane matches. Like, uh, everyone's involved. Uh, people are involved. Engen's involved. And, and <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, when he took the show, he's like, Engen! It was, it was funny as shit ever. <laughs> uh, I really can't wait for this match. I think it's one of those matches that will give us, again, some clarity, especially at the top of the super heavyweight or open rankings. Uh, Jerry could could do a lot of damage to Hermes. Don't think, but but I think Hermes is the favorite in this one. Like, he has shown that he's he's not only is capable of taking your hand, he's capable of going a little bit more sideways, more, not 
inside but more center oriented which is what you need to do with jerry you kind of need to take him out of position and then you can you just cannot get hang on like if you if you stay and you cannot fit ah oh, it's a long day but what we saw from from Hermes, he would intentionally give up his wrist just to show his flopping and pressing power. And uh, I'm really excited to see him back on table. The last time we saw him at the start of the year versus Levin Saganishvili, uh, where he had, you know, the match of his life, right? I think that was the best match, even though he was on receiving it. The, the, the whole status of Levin, the whole... You know, the weight that he's bringing to the table, uh, not only physically, but mentally. This guy has been absolutely demolishing everyone. And then Hermes, the guy that used to pull 85 kilos, is now the guy that actually can do some damage, which is extremely impressive. Uh, yeah, East versus West 8, uh, July 29. Link is in description. By the pay-per-view, there's like, I think, 27 more super matches. I'm kidding, of course. But there's a lot of super matches. Great event. And I absolutely can't wait. We'll be there in Istanbul. And I'll try to bring you again a little behind the scenes and things like that. But again, who do you think is going to win this one? How do you see this match going? Will this be easy to the one or the other? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited. Stay strong. Love armor slaying. Uh, floppity flop.